Hey guys, welcome back. Lab 10, you guys did it. Really, really hope you enjoyed this and uh, hope you got a lot out of it. And hopefully it's just the beginning of your journey with Blue Prism. Today in our final lab, we're gonna be talking about the control room. Now there's uh, several different ways to kick off a process and those are all in the instructions so make sure you read them as usual. But today we're gonna just show you a little bit of the control room, what it looks like, how you kick off a process. We'll also talk about some analytics, specifically process MI, which you'll see here in a little bit. So hope you've enjoyed this series, guys. One more lab to go. Let's finish strong. All right, guys, welcome back to lab 10, the final lab. So here we have our lab 10 process open. I'm in our process studio. Uh, we're gonna go into the control room here in a little bit, but there's a critical step we need to do first. Now on the main page right here, you'll notice this white box over here. Double click it in that white area over there. And on the bottom left, you should see this publish this process to control room. Make sure you check mark that. I had mine already check marked because I had to run this so I can show you guys the audit log. And so once you hit OK, uh, maybe hit a save and a refresh just in case um, so that it appears in the control room. Now, once you publish that and you've saved it, go ahead and go into your interactive client and come to your control room here. And just in case you on the right, you may want to hit this refresh just to make sure it loads. And now that we're in the control room, by the way, there's two ways to get. You can either click here or you could click uh, on your left hand screen over there. Now this right box over here is our digital workers. You can see I've got one digital worker here. We've got our um, process that the digital worker can work on. Now there's of course several different ways that you can uh, kick off a process and the instructions talk about that. We're gonna do the manual way just so you can see it, but essentially you're just gonna take a digital worker and drag and drop it onto the process and you'll see one here in yellow it says pending. You can right click that and hit start. Now I'm not gonna run it because I've already ran one for you guys so you can see this here in a minute. Um, but go ahead and run that on your own if you wanna see uh, your digital worker actually going in motion. Um, you've got an immediate stop here. The instructions talk a little bit about that. So the immediate stop will essentially stop a process no matter uh, what stage it's at. Request stop will stop it where the uh, is uh, your stop question mark stage is, is completed right there. And if you right click, once it does get to complete its status, may take a little time, right click this, hit view log, and you'll see your auditing log over here. You'll see all the steps basically the digital worker can do. Notice that I can't go in here and delete any of this. This is for uh, your protection, right? So that we can see the digital worker, what they've done, stored nicely in the database, any parameters or anything like that, okay? Now, the other thing that is really neat, uh, specifically in Blue Prism, is our process MI. So if you come back into the control room here, you go over to view, go back down to toolboxes, and you can see process MI. Okay. Now, over here, we've got our process MI, which is basically just shows us the percentages of the steps uh, and gives us a little more data that you can kind of filter and research on, on how your digital workers have been forming. And to see how they perform, what you want to do is uh, click your resource over here. You can drag and drop that. I'm sorry, you actually just click it over here and then hit search based on when you ran your process. You can see here, this was my session that I did a little bit earlier ago. Um, and then the, the stages to analyze, you can just do the main page if you want, but if you want to see all of them, uh, you can certainly click that and then hit the analyze button. Now, I haven't ran this enough, so you wouldn't see um, some changes, but I'll show you if we come into the instructions here, which all of you have read. Um, you can see that a process MI will basically, like we said, it's going to show you the different steps and the percentages, see how your process has basically performed with that. So with that, um, that should give you a little bit of an overview of the uh, process MI. And that, folks, is actually our last final step in this. So we hope you've enjoyed this Learning Labs, and uh, we'll see you on the, uh, the review outro slide. Thanks.